front of you guys. When I was born, um, I, I had um, a mental illness called major depressive disorder. Um, that's, that's called depression here. Um, and when I when I uh, entered third grade, I I formed a habit of self harming, cutting myself, um, burning myself, anyways to uh, hurt myself to relieve pain in my um, heart. Um, and when I was 12, <coughs> I uh, started fantasizing about death, and I was obsessed with, you know, the idea of death. And um, actually, last year this time, well, November, but anyways, November of 2005, I attempted my um, <coughs> first major suicide. I obviously failed. And following with uh, two, <laughs> Two other ones, uh, I was sent to a psychiatric hospital. Yeah, it was asthma. That was why I was in the hospital, it was asthma. And after a week of being in the hospital, your mom and I were saying, geez, that's an awful long time to be in the hospital for asthma. And it was several weeks later that we did find out that you know, Devin was in, in the hospital for depression. So, in, and then it started to make sense. Going to visit him in the hospital was a trip because I had I'd never been to prison. I've never been into a mental hospital either. And, you know, the whole lockdown thing, you know, getting into the, you know, all the, everything's locked up and certain rooms you could go to. I mean, we didn't go off and just like walk down the hallway where the dorms were or where their rooms were, we had to meet him in a certain place and it was all very monitored and um, and very restricted. Uh, I was in and out for quite a while and finally they decided that um, my case was very severe so I was sent to a state psychiatric hospital, the highest care of psychiatric hospital in Massachusetts which is located in Westmore. Um, <clears throat> It was a very, very um, unforgettable experience, you know, you know. And um, I saw lots of crazy stuff there. Um, and also met, you know, beautiful people with beautiful minds, great people, you know. Um, I was at a Pembroke Psychiatric Hospital for like a week or something. And I had two roommates and one of them was uh, schizophrenic or something. I don't. I don't really know what it is because all that stuff is confidential. But um, he apparently thought he was a plant, and he took a plastic spoon and started digging into the carpet and trying to uh, plant himself. It was pretty interesting. That was funny. <laughs> it shouldn't be funny, but I guess when you're in the institution for a long time, you, you have to sort of laugh at things to get by. Like, like I said before, my last flight started as an internet band and just for hobby, nothing. I wasn't going to do shows or anything, just put out songs, but um, I went through a series of, you know, life-changing stuff, you know, experience. And I figured if I'm going to play music, I have a good reason to play. And, you know, suicide awareness came to my mind because that's what I was going through, all suicide and, you know, self-injury issues, depression and stuff. So, um, you know, that's, that's what my last flight is about and always will be suicide awareness. Anyways, um, I also had a roommate who was homicidal. He was my roommate for two weeks and I could not sleep at all. You know, I was like, today he's going to kill me for sure. But, you know, he liked me for some reason. I don't know why. We talked about fighting and stuff a lot because he, he was obsessed with fighting and stuff like that. He came from prison because he tried to kill someone, but yeah. it was, I thought he was a great guy, he just, you know. The culture that we have, um, there's so much pressure on kids, as well as physiologically, I think a lot of, a lot of us, you know, are, have chemical imbalances. 
uh, to varying degrees. Some have just a little bit and they're able to take care of it. Some of them are really serious. They need help with that. But eat, just being a kid is really stressful and really hard. And you add just a little bit of a, a, a chemical imbalance there and you know, it, things spiral out of shape. And we don't have a society, or I hope, we, I'm feeling that the society is starting to get better. Not that we gotta medicate everybody, but I think there's gotta be an awareness that you know, not, not everybody is living in Happy Valley, especially at that age. And um, I'm feeling that Devin is really reaching out to a select group of people that's really, really important. Those kids that, ah, oh, geez, I'm not the only one. That this, this is, not that this is a normal way of feeling, but this is a feeling that other people have experienced or are experiencing in getting help and dealing with, maybe I can go and talk to somebody about this. So I really think that, that Devin is, is providing a really good service with his music, um, as well as helping himself heal. It was very clear that his music was part of his therapy for him because that's when he really was starting to write. And he had been writing, but he was starting to share lyrics and talk about um, what had been going on with him via the music and the lyrics for the music. And actually, even just playing the music, you, you know, you could feel there was a real intensity, sometimes an anger, sometimes maybe not an anger, but a real intensity. When he'd pick up that guitar at the other end of the house, you were, you were hearing that coming out of him. It's a nerdy thing, you know, it's just one of those, it started out, um, my first amplifier and uh, electric guitar was uh, some off-brand guitar called Court, I think I mentioned that before, it's like, it was a Stratocaster copy and a solid state uh, Fender uh, Deluxe 112 speaker, just a cheap amplifier and that was fine for me and I thought it sounded really good and then I got my another amplifier you know and I thought it sounded good but I played more and more and I started realizing like it you know there's something wrong and as you play more I guess you build an ear for not just playing music but the tone and the quality warmth and cl uh, clarity of the sound you make and I got really into that 